I'm a policy officer in DG Research and I work on innovation policy. So it's quite interesting, it's a horizontal unit within the DG. So we have thematic areas that might look at research in health or transport or um, various different areas, energy. But we deal with the with the innovation brief for all of those topics. So it's very it's interesting and diverse. You get to see a lot of different topics. <laughs> there is absolutely no typical day. Um, generally, I will go in and check my emails first thing. We do a lot of briefings for our commissioner come through our unit because we're dealing with all of the innovation brief. Um, so very often we have briefings that have to be completed quickly and then I have a number of files that I'm following so I might attend meetings about those files. It's such a broad brief that you really have the opportunity to follow things that you're interested in and then also my colleagues are they're very open, they're very friendly and they're very knowledgeable so it's a really nice environment to work in because everyone's very hard working but it's also fun and supportive and you learn a lot about how the EU actually functions because when you're on the outside and you come along to Brussels and you go to meetings um, it's a totally different perspective when you can now imagine how the desk officer is sitting at their desk planning for a meeting and it gives you a much better insight on how to interact with the Commission I think. Yeah, I would say language is a challenge. My, all of my work is done through English but you're surrounded by people who have probably at minimum three languages so it's certainly an incentive to get your your second or third language up to scratch um, you need to work to a very high level and have quite a lot of knowledge about the EU scene which not having worked here before not having done any direct European studies I don't really do so there's a lot of sort of running to catch up I suppose uh, particularly in the first few months just to learn what you need to know um, I think you need to have I suppose a bit of get up and go because you have to take yourself from your home country and go somewhere else you definitely have to be willing to learn and be open and you have to be good with other people because there is a lot of cross-cultural issues and so you need to be able to to work well in teams of people who might have very a very different idea of what's rude and what's not than you do. Make sure that you know what sort of jobs you should be applying to to see your skills. Um, make sure that you are telling everyone you know who has a, who might be able to help you, be they commission officials, um, other Irish civil servants, Irish secondees, so that they can help you out and point you in the right direction for where to go.